My name is Jonathan Barnbrook. I'm a graphic designer. I'm the owner of Barnbrook Design. So the first piece of design that I saw that I noticed was uh, a record cover um, for the album Man Machine by Craftwork. And if you've seen it, you know it's a very strong graphic red and black design using elements from the Russian constructivists. And to me, the puzzle was listening to the music and then listening and then looking at the visuals and how they connected. If it was, it was a great record cover and the fact that if it is a great record cover, then it enhances your listening to the music. And that's a puzzle that I've sort of never understood and tried to deal with all through over 30 years of working. How music, how any uh, culture really represents itself visually um, for people to understand it a bit better. Um, and that led me on to working with record covers myself because that mystery is, is endlessly something that really uh, intrigues me. And graphic design is many things, it's in many different areas. It's a bit like music itself in that um, you have people who work in a very commercial area, doing corporate identities, doing sort of quite dull things like financial reports. And you have people who work working in culture who are working in politics who really believe that there is something to say and the best medium to say it is through graphic design. It's something I absolutely agree with because as a graphic designer what you're doing is you don't have to go to a gallery and see if it's graphic design. It doesn't intrinsically have a, have a value but what it does have is this possibility to um, inform people of a message without prejudice. They don't look at it first, they just look at the message. That's what's exciting to me. So whether I'm working in the political area or whether I'm working in music, the thing that's important is putting over that, that message. Um, so just to continue the, the kind of thing that we um, design, we really do believe that culture is worthwhile. You know, if you think about all the areas of graphic design I previously mentioned, it, in this world, which is a very difficult world, there are certain things which stay the same. One thing is that museums have the possibility to educate, to entertain. That music can, people can find in it um, an avenue for them to express their feelings for a way that if their life is not going so well, it just gives them that little bit of release. And I think these things are worthwhile. Um, and that's why we work in those areas. Um, even within music, you know, the commercial and non-commercial areas, we always make sure that we do we work with artists we love. Um, for instance, when I was young, when I was 13, as well as loving craft work, there's another electronic musician I like called John Fox, and today I work with him. Um, and it's an honour, and that's because one of the things you have to do as a graphic designer is contact people you want to work for. You can't expect to come to you. What you've got to do and say, well, I want to do that, so let's contact that person. And that's not just because you know you like to work on good projects, it's also because the work will be better. If you're into something, you'll understand it. And if you understand it, you will be motivated and you'll do good work in that area. It's quite simple. Some of the people we work for, uh, the Victoria and Albert Museum a lot. Um, partially because it's you know, applied design. Um, so it's very close to graphic design and we want people to understand the role of graphic design in society. Um, we work with a lot of publishers on books for artists as well. Um, one of the books we worked on recently was for Rihanna. Now, honestly, I don't know a great deal about Rihanna because I'm probably a bit too old, but um, it's not just me in the studio. There's, for other people. And that was given to a younger member of the studio who's into Rihanna. Again, you've got to be into the subject. So that's quite important. Um, the projects we're working on at the moment, whenever people, somebody asks me that, it's always very difficult to remember because there are, in the real world, in a design studio situation, there are usually at least 10 projects at a time. And that's between four people. And, you know, each one would have a different deadline each one will have a different way of um, sending it to the client 
and uh, getting feedback. So you have to juggle all these different uh, elements. Um, but we're working on a book for an artist called Nicolene Thomas, who's based in New York, very interesting artist. We're working on an album cover for someone called Gazelle Twin. Um, probably not, maybe not that well known to a lot of people. She's a fantastic electronic musician. Um, and we're doing a few bigger projects, which are, of course, secret. Um, you have to be good at keeping secrets as well <laughs> if you're a graphic designer, because often people don't want stuff announced because it destroys the surprise. And for instance, we worked with uh, David Bowie quite a lot, working on his album covers. And the most important thing was that the press didn't get to hear about it. Now, sometimes people will make you sign a special legal agreement, but sometimes, because you work with people you love, you just don't want to spoil the surprise. The question of what I would tell students now, I mean, there are so many things. One of the wor main worries I have is that people worry too much about getting a job, really. Um, of course, it's, it's difficult when you've got debt and you've got parents pressurising you. You know, graphic design, like any artistic area, isn't just about the end, the end result, the end result of getting a job, the end result of getting a degree. It's about the journey there. So the journey of university is not important as the end result. If you don't enjoy it, then you've wasted your time. You know, of course, the marks are important, that kind of thing, but also the partying <laughs> is important. The going to the gallery is important. The sitting there doing nothing is important. You get up late is important. You're getting annoyed about um, other people's work you don't like is important. Being influenced by other people is important. None of that is necessarily what people think about when they're applying to a college, but they're all factors. The thing to know is that you know some people may not become graphic designers as a result, of course, and actually that may be the best thing for them. Some people will. What I'm trying to say is that something will happen as a result. And in the end, your right vocation will find you. It may be that you work in an area slightly different from graphic design. Um, you could work in motion graphics, you could work in theatre production. Um, but what this course does is really, it helps you find yourself. Um, it helps you on that journey. So again, I go back to being not, not thinking in such a vocational way about it, but thinking about it in a creative way, in a personal development way. I think that's uh, really fundamental to being at art college, really.